Well, tomorrow morning it's off to Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore with my good friend and brother-in-law, Adam Wilson. We had a fantastic day today here in Grand Haven, Michigan. You can't beat the fun you can have on the western shore of Michigan. Let me give you a recap of how our day went before I take you to Sleeping Bear Dunes. So the lake levels rise, and what it does is it wipes out most of the houses right on the shore of Lake Michigan. But thankfully, there's a little cluster of houses that we were able to save. And my wife's father's best friend actually bought one of these houses and fixed it up, repaired it. And we are blessed every time we come here to Grand Haven to stay in his cottage, literally right on the shore of Lake Michigan. Come on, let me show you around. Michigan, brother-in-law, <laughs> welcome to Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Here we are, we made it to South Manitou Island, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Park. We have about four hours, four is hours. that correct? Yep. And we're going to do the unadvisable. We're spending most of it talking to the camera right now. <laughs> Wasting time right now. We're going to hike to the other side of the island. It's about four, uh, four miles. Four miles. There, make a couple stops actually on the way back, and then a return trip of four hours as well. And we have to be on this boat, which departs at 4 o'clock p.m. If we miss this boat, gas station sub sandwiches. Cheers. Ninety eight percent bread, <laughs> one slice of turkey. <laughs> Example of another one. These are uh, crab apples. And they're very, very bitter <laughs> and sour and worthy of one bite. And they go back in the woods. There they go. That's it. I might have to get rid of this one. <laughs> ah! Okay, we made it to the south end of South Manitou Island. We've hiked all the way across the last half mile. It's all uphill in the sand to 
to get to this very spot. You can see Lake Michigan behind me. You can also see it by myself. Not only is there no one else here at this location, but Adam went down about a half mile ago with some back issues. So we left him on the side of the trail. Explore this area very briefly, and then go back and pick him up. You see there's a little trail ahead of me. I'll take it right to Lake Michigan. Would love to explore that. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna check up on Adam, see how he's doing. All right, we got Adam. We wimped out. <laughs> we found this uh, shuttle heading back to the boat. We just, we just jumped on. We're kind of stowaways, you know? Yeah. Castaways uh, on this island. But uh, Adam, Adam, you went down, man. I went down. You just went down to all four in the sand, and I, I left you there, but that was okay, right? <laughs> yes, it was. You all right? I crawled back on my hands and knees. Man, well, and you're, you're in bad shape, huh? Yeah. yeah, it hurts. It, uh, wow. Well, I wasn't able to, I wouldn't carry you back. That might have no. been out, out of the question. That might hurt more me. Yeah. Me more. <laughs> yeah. No, all right. You're going to go see the shipwreck. All right, gonna we're going, here. going to the shipwreck. This doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Don't this let it out of your right sight. <laughs> I'll see you soon, right. buddy. Have fun, buddy. Uh, the moors on ran aground here in late November of 1960. It's an ocean-going, steel-hulled freighter. The ship was built in 1915. Uh, it's got a long and interesting history of its own. It left Chicago on November 26th with its last load of cargo. It was Thanksgiving Day that year. As they're approaching the passage here, this point is where these freighters need to make their right-hand turn into the Manitou Passage. That can buoy marks shallow water shoals that extend from this point on the island out to that buoy. It's 18 feet or less for the most part from there to here. Uh, and they essentially made their right hand turn about a mile too far north. Uh, ran aground in about 18 feet of water, ripped a hole in the steel hull of the ship and it filled up with sand and gravel and was uh, stuck fast there on the bottom of the lake. Made it? Praise God. So yeah, yeah, it was perfect. Amen. And now I think we're gonna take a trip over to the lighthouse. I tell you what, the legs are feeling good, but it still be walking back four miles. Yeah, yeah. I'll take now, the ride I'm going to take the stairs up the lighthouse, unless I'm on Randy's back here. But uh, I will go down and I'll wave at Randy. <laughs> Give it a and shot. It'll be like I'm there. I don't get the video, so it will be like I'm there. So. Maybe Nick will drop us up on the wagon. <laughs> private tour here aren't we right. right look at this wow this was the keeper's house here this huh? was the keeper's house look at this so kind of almost like a uh, like a breezeway here just that would just, lead yeah just to get into the tower without uh to his residence yeah now are they planning to restore all this yes they do look at this graffiti yeah so before the park service came in this was just open to Whoever might I had a boat I on a, by. And I gave a tour to a guy and he said, Yeah, when I was a teenager, we came over and broke into the bottom window of the lighthouse. I said, so your <laughs> name's probably in there on the wall. Hey, look at this. So. Look at this place. It's like a subway car in Brooklyn. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Oh, this guy's put, he put his address here. That's yeah, not, the, that's not the smartest thing yeah. to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got a basement down there? Yeah. I think that's where they prepared meals. There's a couple of big rooms down there, and then off to the right where they stored the. Now this is a good size yeah, a living big, quarters. Yeah, it's a big house. So you had a family that you wore above us, and wow, then it still yeah. goes through the attic to where they used to tend the light. So. Wow, this is cool. Yeah. It'd be nice when we finish this off. Thanks a lot. You're quite welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. All right, you too. Sticker table is safe. It went nowhere. <laughs> I look for you up there. I saw the ranger thinks everybody's out and gone. He oh. left a man on top of the light. 
There's a guy up there still, and the door's locked and he can't get off. Can you get inside? <laughs> He's stuck up there. <laughs> That's the guy with the funny camera. Can you, can you get inside that door? It's locked. That one's locked? Yeah. So you, oh! These guys were all ready to go in, huh? What kind of fish is that? That's, this is beef. Did he say beef? Yeah. Is it the actual heat itself that cooks them and the smoke just gives them a, a yeah. flavor, yeah. basically? Yeah. What's in there right now? On the, the backs, lake trout, bigger pieces. Okay. And then I got white fish and then some sand. Burnt down twice. Is it really? Oh, really? It's all wood on the inside. Yeah. doesn't want you going down this thing since basically they say too hard to get back up again. You can see it's almost straight down. I can't even see over the edge. You see the water, it looks almost like a straight drop off at this point. That's Lake Michigan below me. Did you go all the way to the bottom? Yeah, it's intense coming up. Going down is a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. The camera doesn't give a perspective but it's a long way down to the lake. You can actually see about three people down there right on the shore. I'd say it's a good, maybe a mile, three quarters of a mile to get to the bottom. just burning and it is super hard to catch my breath just like the lady said you do 10 to 20 steps it's about all the body can handle then you rest and you keep repeating the cycle this is really a challenge we got some traditional Lake Michigan can you smell it right here what do you got there Adam Perch fish, sand perch sandwich. That is sauce. perch right there. Lemon. White fish. I don't know, white fish right here. This is homegrown. This was harvested from the lake, not far from where we are sitting right now. This is Lake Michigan fish at its finest, yep. baby. At our Ooh. Ooh. Almost, almost lost a little fillet right there. <laughs> That's white fish, nice. right from Lake Michigan. Native. Look, this is the craziest campsite. Repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. 
They didn't say anything about those sleeping in a tent tonight, did they? No.